Good morning, everyone. How are you all? Good morning, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm doing good, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning, ma'am. I'm fine, morning, my dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm doing good. Thank you. Okay. I hope all of you are ready with your literature textbook and notebook. I have already sent the message in the morning in the class group. Yes. Okay, good. So in the previous session, we have completed understanding lesson number 13, Tanya visits Tanali. We discussed everything in the lesson. Then we discussed the meanings of selected important words from the story as well, right? I had sent the notes to you, requesting all of you to write and learn the word meanings. Who all have done it? Please take your notebooks and show them to me. Now, I need to make sure that all of you are regular at your work. Yes, very good. Ara, good. Dia, good. Heaven Rose, good. Medha, good. Aldrin, good. Sara, very good. Advait Arun, very good. Rihan, Rihan, that is Ryan, I think, right? Yes. Is that your brother's name? 7B. Yes, Sara, I saw it. What about the others? Aditi Arun, yes, good. Ayush, good. What about the others? Just show me the books. I can see everybody's book from here. Rishikesh, good. Hold the book properly. Rishikesh, hold the book properly and show it to me once again. Ahmad Azim, if you hold the hand in front of the book, I will not be able to see it clearly. Santino, good. Yes, Arav, I saw your book twice, good. Yes, Sara. Okay, fine. I saw your book. Good. What about the others? Jodha, did you show me the book? Hold it. Bring it closer to the device. Ah, yes, Jodha. Okay, very good. Ryan? Yes, yes, I saw. You renamed the device also, right? Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you the meanings of some of these words. Rishikesh, unmute and tell me the meaning of chatter. Chatter. You have written down the notes, but you yes. need to understand and remember them as well. Chatter. What is the meaning of chatter? Speaking. Sorry, speaking, yeah. Partly right, but not completely right. I want the complete meaning of chatter. Aldrin? Speaking full stop. Huh? Speaking foolish talk. Okay, foolish talk, fine. Yes, there is talk. another word in front of that. What kind of foolish talk? Very fast. There is Very another word for that. Stuff. There is another word that we have used for that. Quick. Quick foolish Quick, talk. Foolish now talk. you are right. Yes. See, with the help of the clues, you were able to get the answer. Good job. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. You're welcome. Okay. Muhammad Wazim, tell yes. me the meaning of rug. A small carpet. No, not a small. A small carpet. A small carpet. A small carpet. A small carpet used to cover the floor. Used to cover the floor. Okay, fine. Good. Actually, that comes, that part comes in the meaning of the word carpet only, not rug. A rug is just a small carpet. Clear? Wazim. Okay, thank you. Advai Tarun. Yes, Tell me the meaning of carpet. A thick material used to cover the floor. What kind of material did you say? Please repeat. A 
thick material used to cover the floor. Very good. A thick material used to cover the floor. Well done, Adbai. Thank you. Sara, meaning of confused? Unable to think clearly. What is the meaning of unable? Unable. Hmm. What does it mean? It doesn't think. Cannot. Not able, my dear. Not able. Unable means not able. Not able. Not able. Not able to think clearly and unable to think clearly are one and the same. Got it? Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Dia, Anuj, tell me the meaning of explored. To learn new things. Explored. To learn new things about something. Explored. E X P L O R E D is there at the end of the word. That means which tense form is it? E D. Want, wanted. Study, studied. Okay, ma'am. Mm. Which tense form is it? Don't just say okay, give me the answer. Work. Walked. Which tense form? Explored. Sorry? Present tense, Explored. past tense, or future tense? ED. ED is there at the end of the word. Past tense. Future tense. ED. I walked back home. Yes, many others are raising their hands and they all know the answer. I know it very well. Good. But Dia is not able to remember. Okay, Medha. Uh, past tense. Past tense, yes. And Dia used the word learn. Am I right, Dia? Learn, right? What is the past tense of learn? Learn. Learned, yes. L E A R N T. Learned. Can you try to complete the meaning of the word explored? Uh, learned new things about something. Very good. Explored means learned new things about something. Okay, good. Dia and Medha, good effort. Dia, are you able to recollect now the tense form? Yes, Anil. Yes, yeah, which tense form is it? Past tense. Past tense. Yes, very good. Okay, now let us do a quick discussion about the question answers of the lesson. Are you ready? Ready? Okay, good. Let me share the screen. All of you are requested to be on page number 36. Nia, unmute. Read question number one. Yes, ma'am. Read. What did Shivana tell Tanya about her holidays? Mm. What did Shivani told, uh, tell Tanya about her holidays? Yeah. What did Shivani tell Tanya about her holidays? Nia was not there in the previous session, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, did you go good. through the lesson? Ma'am, I read the lesson. Uh, I read the lesson. The past tense of read is read. Ma'am, I read. The spelling the remains lesson. the same. Read. But the pronunciation changes, okay? Yes. I read the lesson. Do you have any doubts about that lesson? No. No? Then try to tell me the answer. What did Shivani tell Tanya about her holidays? I will help you to find the answer. Go back to the first paragraph of the lesson. Page number 34. And she visited Kulu Manali. Never start the answer with a pronoun. Try to use the name. Shivani. Hmm. 
visited Kulu Manali mm. in her Dashara holidays. Okay, then what did she tell Tanya about her holidays? Hmm. Read the second sentence of the first paragraph. Shivani went on and on. About telling. Hmm. About the places. About the places she visited and mm. the hotel she stayed. No, I, why don't you read it from there? Otherwise, you will miss out many things. Shivani, Shivani went, yes. went on and on about the places she had visited, mm. the food she ate, the hotel she stayed. Stayed in and? And in the fun she had. And the fun she had. So we can include all that and try to frame the answer. Okay, Nia? Did yes, you get an idea about the answer now? Yes. Okay, I want all of you to take your pencils and write the answers with me now in the rough notebook. Do not write in the textbook that the space is not sufficient. And I don't want you to copy the notes into your notebook now. I will be sending the notes at that time only you are requested to copy. Because I don't want any of you to do any uh, like work that is not neat and correct. Okay. So now I want all of you to write in your rough notebook only. Did everyone understand? Okay, good. Please write with me. Shivani told, T-O-L-D, told, Tanya, T-A-N-I-A, -A. Shivani told Tanya about, A-B-O-U-T, about the places, P-L-A-C-E-S, places, she visited, V-I-S-I-T-E-D, visited in Manali. Put a comma. The food, F-O-O-D, food, she, a T E H comma the hotel H O T E L she stayed S T A Y E D stayed in I N in and the fun she had. F U N fun she had H A D. At the end of the sentence or answer, we need to put a full stop. Ashwin, unmute your device and read the answer, the question and the answer both. Number one. What did Shivani tell Tanya about her holiday? Mm -hmm. Shivani told Tanya about the place that she visited in Manali. The food she ate, the hotel she stayed in, and the fun she had. Fantastic, Ashley. Very good. You have tried to read it very clearly. Good job. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Are you all able to remember the answer now? Okay, this is how we need to learn how to frame the answers. We are allowed to take help of the words or sentences given in the text for the purpose. Heaven Rose, unmute your device and read question number two. Uh, what did Rohan say the old drug was? Mm. Where would the, it take? Done. Okay, so question number two is framed in two parts, right? So, Heaven, I want you to answer the first part first and then 
answer the second part of the question. Okay. Okay. Please go ahead. Okay. Mm. Uh, Rohan. Hmm. What did Rohan say? What is the past tense of say? Sorry. Said. Very good. Yeah. That. That. About the old rug. About the old carpet. Hmm. Rohan old said the, that the old rug was a. Rohan said, "What old car? The old carpet was the old rug. Old rug hmm. was something special. What did he say? Was something special? Was a." This is our. This is my hmm. uh, my our magic carpet. Yes, Rohan said that the old rug was a magic or magical carpet. Both the words can be used. Magical carpet. Now read the second part of the question. Where would it take them? Where would it take them? Rohan take them. Rohan would take them. Where would it take them? It. So you can start Rohan. the answer by using the pronoun. It. It would take it take. Hmm. It take from. It uh, would take. Rohan. It would take from storeroom. Sorry? Storeroom. Where would it take them? Where would the magic carpet take Rohan and Tanya? Uh, it would take... Hmm? Take the, them... Them to... Back to the room. No, my dear. Rohan took the magic carpet from the store storeroom. Uh, but where would the carpet take them? Think and give the answer, Heaven. Where would the magic carpet take Rohan and Tanya? To which place would it take? In their imagination. To which place, Heaven? Family. Yes. Yeah. Now say the same answer in a complete sentence. The second part. It would. It would take them to family. Very good. Now, did you understand the difference Mama. between the answers? Yes. Mama, yeah. I should finish the first question. Answer. Okay, fine. You can continue writing, Heaven. Thank you. Good effort. I'm not changing the screen because some students are still writing. I'll keep the screen here and discuss with others. Okay, Dia, unmute, read question number three and tell me the answer. Yes, Dia. Yes, ma'am. Please read One question number three. Three? Three, yeah. Mm. Question number which three. Animals, mm. Which animals and land forms did mm. Daniel describe while talking about Tanali? Mm. Describe. There is a word used here. Describe. Do you know the meaning describe. of describe? Describe. No. Describe. Okay, I'll tell. Everybody listen. That describe means 
to write or speak about something. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, about which animals and landforms? Landforms means lands can land can be seen in different forms, right? Some are raised paths, some are plain paths, some are smooth, some are rough. There are different forms of land. All these are called landforms. If I give you more examples, you will get that. I want you to find out that. Come on, Dia. Which animals and land forms did Tanya describe while talking about Tanali? Tanya described mm. Tanya described jungles, mm. lions, and snakes. Now, why don't you tell enlist the names of land forms, all the land forms first, followed by the names of animals? Yes, dear. Tanya, you started off very well. Tanya, Tanya described jungle. Hmm. Yes, very good. Tanya described the, the. Hmm. the jungles. Lion. Hmm. No, landforms. I requested you to land enlist form. the landforms first, right? All the landforms. Yes. Jungles. Mountains. Mountains. Very good. Then? Desert. Yes, very good. Jungles. Sea. Mountains. Desert. Then? Hmm. Seas. Now you can continue with the names of animals that she described. She saw lions and snakes. Okay. So after seas, we can continue with the names of animals. That is lions. And whenever we are writing down a list, we must write the word and only in front of the last name in the list. Did everybody understand that rule? Seas, yes, lions, and snakes. In which place? Tanali. In Tanali. Very good. Okay, Dia, good effort. Did you understand how to frame the answer now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, dear. Thank you. So, Tanya described the jungles, mountains, deserts, seas. And after that, we follow with the names of animals. That is, lions and finally, the snakes. We must use the word and only in front of the last name in the List. Remember that rule. Don't just write and everywhere and anywhere. That is not to be done. Okay. Write and only in front of the last name in the list. Ryan. Unmute your device and read question number four. Okay, ma'am. Mention the value. Oh, I cannot see the board. Can I, can I? You can read from the book, my dear. No problem yeah. at all. The same thing is taken from the book. Mention the variety. Variety. Variety hmm. of food that Tanya Said, said available internally. Mm. Variety. First, you need to tell me the meaning of the word variety. What do you understand by the word variety? Special food. Different kinds of food. Food is available in different kinds, right? Yes. Mm. That is called variety. Right. Mm. I... Uh, Tanya say, see, so 
Mm, good. You're correcting yourself. Continue. Tanya's so Tanya so chaat pakodi ledu biryani kheer. Kheer, not kheer. Kheer, K H. Kheer in mm. Tanali. Okay, you are right. But she has used one particular word to describe the food, and it has the meaning tasty or yummy. Which word is that? Do you remember the word? Delicious. Delicious, not dilly. Delicious. Delic Repeat. Delicious. D e l i c i o u s. Delicious. Delicious means tasty or yummy food. So let okay. us uh, try to frame the answer. You have to help me, Ryan. Okay. Yeah, delicious food like. Delicious food like chart. Hmm. Very good. Chart. Which punctuation mark should I put after writing chart? Comma. Comma. Yes, because there is a long list, right? Yes. Pakodi. Pakodi. Hmm. Comma. Ledus. Not ledus. Ladus. Ah. Ledus. Ladus. Then. And. No. We need to use and only in front of the last name, right? There are yes. two more names remaining. Tani and Gil. Hmm. Not Kir. Kir. K H K biryani and K. Mm. The remaining part of the answer can be taken from the question itself. Was yes. K was. Mm. In K was. Mm. There is a long word. Delicious food internally. What is this word after was? One minute, ma'am. You don't need one minute. You need just a second for that. Read the word just after the word was in the question. Mention the variety of food that Tanya said was, was available in Tanali. Very good. Was available in Tanali. Are you a little more confident about framing the answer now, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, good. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Delicious. Delicious food like chaat, pakodi, ladoos, biryani, and kheer was available in Tanali. Hope everybody is able to remember the answers and understand how to frame them. Yes, ma'am. Like. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Mother, mother is sitting silently there. Unmute, my dear. Yes, ma'am. Please try to read the first value-based question. Value-based question on page number 37. How did, how did Tania feel hmm? when Shivani was Describing, describing her midday holiday hmm? in Ma Manali, Manali, Manali. Why? Why do hmm? you think she? 
it felt that way that way that way that way not why way that way yes so the first part of the question is asking us about how Tanya felt when Shivani was describing her holiday. Read the second paragraph of the lesson, mother on page number 34. Read the second paragraph. Tanya hmm. sa smiled hmm. at her classmate, hmm. but she secretly hmm. wished, wished that Tanya Shivani, Shivani hmm. would, would stop her chatter. Chatter, how, yes. Hmm. How yeah. Tanya hmm. wished to go on holiday. Holidays. Like, hmm. Holidays like Shivani did. Hmm. She wanted to visit 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 all those far off places 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 with her parents but tania knew that this was not possible her mm. pa the parents mm. what was the reason worked very hard now who worked who mm. worked mother her parents her parents, her pa parents. parents. Uh, worked worked par very hard mm. in a factory mm. there are they were they were not allowed allowed, allowed to take even, even a single even a single holiday holiday yes holiday did you understand the answer yes. this is what tania felt when shivani was sharing her experiences at manali right yes okay. so that we will frame into one answer I will be sending the notes to you. The first value-based questions answer can be written down from the notes. Did you all get an idea about the answer? How to frame it? How she, how Tania felt when Shivani was sharing her experience. Okay. And the second value-based question, you have to write it on your own. It is about your thoughts about traveling alone. So read the question and try to write the second value-based questions answer on your own. All right? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, mother.